I'm Colin Fitzgerald here with Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky. We're going to look at a 2020 36 BHQ Sabre Cobalt fifth wheel by Forest River. Let's say four slide mid bunk model, uh, the most popular model we sell. Uh, kind of a rear living with, of course, that bunk room in the middle. And so we're going to look at some features of this specific floor plan. And we're going to go inside first. So next to the door here, you can see 36 BHQ. And then entering in, we're gonna go up and to our right to the bedroom. So to our right here, landing, loft to the left, bathroom door to the left there, and straight ahead is our master bedroom. So in our bedroom here, we do have a bed slide. So true bed slide, king bed here, decorative headboard, windows on both sides, and nightstands on both sides as well. Uh, toward the front, that's where our closet is. Barn door style doors, I have them both open. You can see a great closet here. Got shelving built into that front cap. There's a rod here to hang clothes on and a shelf. I really like what they did with their washer dryer prep. So to the left for the dryer and to the right is for the washer. So instead of having to have a combo unit, uh, which we generally don't like, here you can have a split uh, split setup with both, both units separate, which is definitely more efficient than having uh, the combo unit. So nice setup there by Sabre. Again, the barn doors are those closed, close that area off. Two ACs on this unit, one air conditioner here, one in the living room, but both are ducted. And then LED lighting throughout as well. At the foot of the bed, you can see there's lots of space here. Uh, it doesn't feel very cramped. It's easy to walk up to the closet, walk out. Uh, there's several windows. Of course, the two by the bed, one here, so a lot of natural light. And at the foot of the bed is a set of drawers here with a shelf. You can set the TV on that or you can mount it to the wall, whatever you wanted to do, but there is TV hookup here in the bedroom as well. So going out of the bedroom, back to the hall, there's a window to the left. To the right is our bathroom. The bathroom here, uh, starting at the right, is our sink. We've got storage below. Uh, the subway tile backsplash there behind that. Medicine cabinet with backlighting. A very large shower with a great size skylight, one of the bigger ones we see. So lots of natural light coming in here. Uh, uh, to surround, you'd say, or as far as the shower goes, a plastic surround the whole way, shelving built in, a seat built in, triple sliding glass doors. So more of a home style residential feel there. Great linen closet, so that's open. And then you have these here as well. So great storage for linens in the bathroom. And then a foot flush toilet in this corner as well. So we're going back out in the hallway. The last thing here in the hallway would be, you can see to the right of this ladder that does go up to our loft. This is over the top of that mid bunk room. So a great loft, it's, I don't know the exact size of this mattress, but you can tell it's very big. Uh, you've got shelving there at the end. You've got a TV hook, uh, excuse me, USB hookups with an outlet here. Window, AC duct, lighting. There's a light right there. So nice, well-equipped um, loft here that do have a rail there to keep somebody from falling off uh, right there as well so going back down the steps here in the hallway when you first enter it's kind of like command command central i would say you've got controls for the leveling jacks you've got slide controls awning controls several of the light controls um, the thermostat for this rear ac and the monitor panel all right here together so very organized and neat there and you've also got a closet here uh, for coats or maybe other items that you want to be able to easily get to as soon as you walk in you've got that as well so when you turn, you come in the entry door and go to the left and you look, it really looks like a classic living room, um, classic real living floor plan. You've got the kitchen island, big kitchen, big living room. We'll look at that more in a second. But then you turn to your right and you've got your mid bunk. So here's the bunk room, living room, second bedroom, whatever you want to call it, here to the right. Sliding door to close that off. Here's our second slide. So we got two slides so far, four total. So a slide in the bunk room. Uh, a lot of flexibility here. So you've got the couch below. You've also got a little trundle bed below that, and you've got a bunk that flips up above the couch. So again, and this can be a second living room. If I want to raise this up, I could raise this up out of the way. I could sit and watch movies, make it a man cave, something like that, game room for the kids. Um, of course, you got three beds in here, so you can make it a bunk room. Uh, maybe you have another couple with you. They want to sit in their own bedroom. You could do that. A lot of flexibility with the way this is designed and the amount of space in here. So uh, uh, technically, uh, you get a mid bunk, but really, We've seen customers use this many different ways. So kind of whatever you want to do with it. Uh, you've got a lot of storage in here, a TV hookup as well. 
So again, kind of multi-use room here in the middle. And going back to the back in our kitchen, again, the kitchen island, as I pointed out earlier, very large. I uh, got a flush mount sink over here, so really that entire surface can be used. This is actually a farmhouse style sink, huge sink, if I can get that off. Huge stainless steel sink there. The faucet itself is like a residential style and you can take it out and um, easier to wash dishes and things of that nature. The refrigerator, very large, a residential style refrigerator with an inverter. So if you're traveling or lose power at the campground, no worries, you've still got power. Stove and oven, the stove top does have a glass top stove cover. That tile backsplash behind it as well. And then a stainless steel microwave above. So big storage, there's a pots and pans drawer below that little pantry door there storage built into our island as well many drawers and then we have a pantry also as well here a nice pantry from with floor to ceiling storage uh, drawers are deep and they are good width as well too so nice pantry in the living room by the way this is our third slide didn't point that out there's a third slide here and then across from that is our fourth slide there so four total slides living room we've got the theater seats directly across from the TV. I've got a trifold sofa at the back that makes another bed if I need more sleeping space. And then there's my TV, uh, fireplace, entertainment center, all that uh, right there. So good line of sight to watch TV. TV does pull out. There's a lot of storage behind the TV uh, where you can change the angle if you need to change the angle for watching other locations. A lot of storage above the TV as well. At the back, nice large windows. If you have a good view wherever you're parking, you can utilize that. Um, end tables on both sides of the trifold with storage, with chargers, um, and outlets on both sides also. There's lots of accent lighting you can see on the wall there on both sides. Uh, lights kind of built into the shelf up here as well. There's a second AC above us and a ceiling fan also there. And in, in the fourth slide there, again, huge windows. We do have roller shades. If you wanted to bring those down, you could close it off. Do that sometimes when we're trying to keep the unit cooler. But, of course, here we're trying to just... Um, adds as much light as we can to the unit, but you have roller shades at all the windows if you want to do that. This has a table and chair option. Uh, you can get it with a booth, either way you want it, uh, but this has a table and chair option because uh, you already got so much sleeping space already. So notice lots of floor space here. It's very open. Uh, you have just, just a lot of space in this unit in general, but uh, there's a ceiling and the ceiling fan, accent lighting above the island. Didn't point that out yet. And that accent wall there going to the mid bunk room. So that is the interior of this unit. And we're gonna go outside and I'll show you some more things there. You might have saw when we walked up these uh, Morad step above steps becoming increasingly popular. This unit does have that. On this side, you got a big electric awning, LED lights in it, outside speakers with lights to match. It covers a large portion of this side. And then I wanna show you this compartment specifically right now. So we do have an outside refrigerator here in this compartment and just extra storage as well. And also our outside TV hookup there. So nice storage compartment there. Also notice these compartment doors, you do have magnetic latches. Love those. I do not like those old plastic ones uh, that we're so accustomed to. This does have four point auto level. So four point electric auto level on this unit. Going around the back side of this, you can see on the back there is a, a rack, storage rack on the back, outside grill hookup on this back corner, there's a ladder on the back also. There's those big windows. 50 amp service, of course, with two airs. On this side, we got a 10 gallon gas electric water heater. And this is our pass through compartment. So a great pass-through storage compartment. There's the outside grill right there. Uh, no carpet, I hate carpet in this. So easy to clean, easy to slide things in and out there. So nice big storage compartment. Our docking center, we've got all our water hookups, cable hookups, bike tank flush, all that stuff right here. Very neat and organized in one location. There's some more storage under the front up there. And I like the front cat. Oh, you've got these blue little accent lights built into it as well so it's a 2020 36 bhq saber cobalt fifth wheel by forest river it's a four slide mid bunk model bed slide king bed two airs washer dryer hookup residential refrigerator theater seats 
auto level outside refrigerator. And that's here at Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky.